Well, before we get started with this episode, just a few things to bring up. I almost put up a video asking you guys about a job offer that we got. We were approached by England to take over the national team. Uh, we are in 2028, so we're two years away from the World Cup. And as long as I have play, played, played football manager, I have never been approached for a national team job. So I was intrigued. It was England. We could have maybe brought home the, the cup for the first time since 66. But um, I do recall many people that I've watched on YouTube do football manager say that um, national teams are not the best uh, way to go when it comes to a, a football manager series. So I put the ixnay on that, uh, but that did happen. Uh, also, I'll do transfers later once we actually start, uh, but this was the other thing. A consortium has pulled West Brom out of the hat to possibly have a takeover. So I don't know what that means. If we look at the club, we are considered to be rich. Um... Where is, oh, have I even made the list here? Favorite personnel, icons, no? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a jag, I'm just another guy. Uh, let's see, profile, general, the owner. Okay, so the owner is rich. Oh. One other thing, so yeah, let's see, Legends, yep, I'm, I'm, j I'm just a Jag, just another guy. Um, where, here we go. Uh, we are working on a ground expansion. I did go to them at the beginning of the off season and they said that they would. So we are going from Twenty six six eighty eight to about twenty nine thousand somewhere in that range. So I noticed we've been selling out every year, and I said we need more seats so I can have more money. So anyway, if anything happens with the takeover, I will come back. Otherwise, we'll see you guys for the beginning of the season. We'll go over the friendlies and the preseason results, transfers, and then we'll get into our opening match which I think is Man City. See you guys back in a bit. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 83 of Football Manager 19, Club 3. We are playing with West Brom. So as I mentioned, I was offered the English national job, which was very intriguing. Um, I've never really done national, so that would be something interesting to do. But uh, anyway, stayed away from it. So here is the early going. Uh, we are picked to finish 13th at 150 to 1. So finishing top top half of the table is going to be a chore according to the pundits hopefully we can challenge for sixth or seventh again the top six the big six chelsea the two manchester clubs tottenham arsenal liverpool uh, leicester just on the outside and then we have uh, west ham burnley and norwich uh, were promoted up from the championship i'm sorry bristol city not burnley uh, Bristol City, West Ham, and Norwich recently promoted. Uh, so looks like they're two of them are picked to go back down. So what have we done? Well, let's take a look at everything that we've done, and then we'll get into the opening match against Man City. Uh, we lost our opening friendly 2-0 to Aberdeen. I tried that fluid 2.0. Uh, yeah, we may give that a shot this, this season, but... You know, we're going to have to pick our spots. Uh, Coventry is an affiliate. We played them with a 
heavily rotated squad beat them 2-0. Jose Ramon Esteban with a brace. We'll learn about him in a minute. He's a new arrival. Uh, we were asked to do a testimonial uh, for Yeveltown or Yeveltown. And uh, the guy that the testimonial was for, I don't remember his name. Oh, Donnellan, I guess. Uh, so he is a defender, 31 years old. And if we look at his history, he started with West Brom back in 2013-14, went out on loan to Worcester City, and then came back to West Brom, loaned out two years, came back to West Brom, loaned out, and then went to Yeveltown on a free. Never actually made an appearance for the club. Uh, but anyway, uh, we beat them 4-0. And uh, Danny Olmo scored tw a brace and Esteban another brace uh, in that one. Then we played our first Europa League a leg against uh, Lesia. I don't know what that is. Dansk? Lesia Dansk? Gdansk? And we beat them 5-1 in the first leg. Morgan Harris, an early goal. Tommaso Fr Franachini, I'm still learning some of the new names. Uh, he had a hat trick, and Esteban scored again. They did have a player sent off in the 80th minute, but we didn't score after that. 5-1, easy win. Uh, we beat uh, U.S. Ken Catanzaro. We owed them a friendly on because of a, a trade. I must have missed that clause. So we didn't make any money for that. We had to travel wherever the hell that is. And uh, it couldn't have been too, too far. We had almost 1,000 fans make the trip. Brendan Taylor, we played a fully rotated squad. Brendan Taylor got the goal and the victory. In the second leg, we played a full rotation. Uh, so we played our starting 11 here. We played a full rotation and won 7-0. So 12-1 to 1 on aggregate. Brendan Taylor with a brace. Ryan Nyambi, Chikwuma, Danny Olmo, Dale Sinclair, Morgan Harris, all with goals. And then we beat Atletico de Madrid. Atletico Madrid 3-2. Uh, we had a brace from Morgan Harris. Matt Ingram scored. Uh, so the 73rd minute was the winner. And then we have opened up our next Europa League, the best placed third qualifying round. That's That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? And we beat them 5-0. Uh, again, we played a pretty a heavily rotated squad here because of the Man City match coming up just three days later. Esteban with a goal. Brady with a brace. Olmo and Sinclair in the midfield with two more goals. They had two people sent off, one in the 26th minute, one in the 93rd minute. We do play them coming up in a couple of days. We'll do that off camera. Before we hit Man City, let's go ahead and jump. Let's see. Yeah, this is you know four minutes. We may do two matches if I can condense everything. But uh, we, we are failing financial fair play. So... I'm not exactly sure how this works. I've never really had an issue with it before, but if I'm reading this right, we are allowed to have a payroll of 115 million for this season. And I don't know what that is. What's the threshold? Don't know. But anyway, looks like we, this is how I'm interpreting it. So if you know the answer, let me know in the comments. So I'm interpreting this that we're allowed to spend $115 million in salaries this year, but we're spending $125. Now, my understanding is as long as we don't make a loss... We'll have to pay, we either have to pay a tax or we get a five point deduction or both. Okay, that could suck because that says if we remain in the same division. So if we stay in the Premier League. So let's take a look at over summary 125. Okay, see, I, I'm, I'm not understanding. It says I'm paying 101 million right now. I'm under payroll. I was over this earlier. I was, but I'm not now. So I don't, don't know. Anyway, here in the early going, we, uh, we have lost 46 million this year, but you'll see why. So let's take a quick look at the transfers. Uh, let's see, released players. 
Mitchell Marchant, uh, Zhang Zingi, Brent Walland, Darren Obrey Stewart, and Alan Burke. The only one we probably two is Marchant and Zingi. He was one of our Chinese players, and we let him go. Uh, let's see, released players. Uh, let's see, if we go here, we look at the outs. Well, I can't, I can't, uh, I like this one. So, all transfers. All right, so Stuart Glover, we sent to Wigan for 210000 One of the big moves was Edson Alvarez. He was our aging Mexican uh, international, 78 caps for Mexico. Uh, he was 30 years old, but he wasn't starting for us. I was able to move him for potentially $12 million to Dynamo Kiev. We did have quite a few Mexican teams come in, but they were offering like five to eight million, and they wanted us to pay, you know, three to four million a year. And I was like, you yeah, know, whatever. We'll send him to Russia. <laughs> uh, Nikki Chapel goes for a million to Dundalk. Uh, Jan Lowe. Now, Jan Lowe came to us. We picked him up for 2.1. We've loaned him out. We did try to sell him. Nobody offered. But uh, we made a couple of moves that he is excess, and he was one of the ones that just didn't get it done last year. He scored uh, three goals in 18 matches. So we, we, you know, we tried to move him on. Chris Courtney out on loan. Oscar Melindo goes to Real Betis for 8.75. Uh, another aging midfielder. Uh, had not, let's see, last year, uh, 16 starts, 6 off the bench, 4 goals, 3 assists. So he was one of our good players, but I just thought we could benefit from moving him. Uh, I forgot to look. We brought him in. Yeah, we paid 14 and a half for from Espanol. Sold him for 8.75. So we took a little bit of a hit there. Uh, Keith Glover goes on loan. All the rest of these guys are loan. Uh, at the trade deadline, <laughs> literally at the trade deadline, Man United came in for Loon Lin Kumpang. He's been a solid performer for us. He's been solid. But, you know, 32 matches last year. But they came in and they offered like 32, and we were able to negotiate it up to 45. I probably could have got a little bit more, but, you know, that was a nice influx of cash and a good chunk of salary off of our wage budget. And knowing that we were failing the financial fair play seemed like the thing to do. So we bring in $65 million. Now, on the, ins on the other side, we brought in a couple of guys. Uh, he's a young center back. We brought in on a free. Uh, I think he's going to be a guy that maybe we can sell. Sam Herbert from Arsenal, also on a free or right back. He could probably do a job in the championship right now. Uh, and, you know, we might be able to sell him if he develops a little bit more. Uh, this was a guy, 325000 right back. I thought he could almost play for us now, but he is on a under 23 work permit. He had eight caps, I was hoping, but you know, didn't come about. So he's on an under 23. Uh, Morgan Harris from Chelsea, we got on a free. Uh, he can play a lot of positions and he can contribute right now. I mean, he's, he's, he's ready to go. Um, Declan Rice. This was a big signing in the offseason, $25 million from Man United. And, uh, yeah, looks really good. Unfortunately, he was just hurt. He was going to be out up to seven months. We were able to spend about $10,000 sending to a specialist and shave three months off of that. So hopefully we get him back real soon. The reason Jan Lowe was able to go is we brought in Tom Tommaso Franaschini from Sausalo, 25 and a half million, 22 year old, one under 21 cap, awesome physicals, really good mentals, solid technicals, not so much passing, but everything else. Uh, we do play the false nine a lot, so he is good to go. Three goals in three Europa Leagues. And uh, I look for him to be a big goal scorer for us this year. Uh, Jose Ramon Esteban from Lazio, 22 and a half. 
another young, uh, well, he's not young, 27, another solid striker with good finishing. So we've really improved our front line, I think, this year. Uh, let's see. Uh, Callop, Callop McNamara we got for 210000 uh, this is a guy that somebody else made an offer on him, and because they're our affiliate, we had the first right of first refusal. And so I took a look at him. He can play the the, the winger spots, and uh, yeah, he's not bad. He's not great, you know, but he's not bad. So I said, eh, you know, for for whatever we paid for him, which was two hundred ten thousand, you know, maybe we can sell him for a profit down the road. Uh, Othman L. Amrani from Fulham, $11 million. Center back, left back option. Uh, pretty good physicals. He's tall. He's got strength. Uh, tackling, marking is huge. Heading is pretty good. He's a 19-year-old Dutch player. And, yeah, I was very happy to get him. Uh, Junior Okoli from Everton. We got on a free, a center back, 6'3". Another powerful. You know, he's going to be... He's not going to be a starter for us, but he could be good depth. Uh, we did lose uh, Glover to Wigan. Stuart Glover was our reserve keeper at 25. So they came in and took him. So we needed somebody else. So we went after, went to Bristol City. We found this guy, Jesus, and uh, we were able to get him. He was transfer listed, not for a lot. We were able to get him on a backup deal. And he's got really solid ratings. I think he'll be a really good backup. And he's played a couple of matches for us already. Uh, one allowed, two two clean sheets uh, in Europa. Granted, not against the best talent, but still, it gets us a reserve keeper that we needed. Eric Grady from St. Mirren. Uh, we needed somebody with Kunpang leaving. We, we were in dire straits for fullbacks at the trade deadline. So we found this guy, 18 years old, uh, and then we've loaned him out, but he looks like he has decent ratings. If we can develop him a little bit, he might be worth something. Uh, and then uh, these two guys were the moves we made at the trade deadline. Mario Russo, we brought in from Pescara. Calcio for 4.8, another striker. Uh, we might be able to move him out as a, uh, as a winger here if we train him, but again, Decent physicals, uh, good mentals and technicals. So just, you know, trying to add some quality on the front line. So with Kuhn Pang leaving, we, that was, all of a sudden it was like, oh, crap, the deadline is today. I've got to sign somebody. So Henrik Walter is a 24-year-old German. Uh, we were able to get him. Mm -hmm. He's a wingback attacker, so I think he's he'll be able to do the job. We get him for $1.4 million. And then Joe Riley, 31 years old, really wasn't going to look at him, but I, I was like, I'm at the trade deadline just in case that Walter guy, because last season I had the same issue with a foreign player not getting approved before the end of the transfer window. He could play left and right. I said, let's get him in. He was real cheap. I think he was under two hundred thousand dollars a hundred and five thousand dollars from Knotts county so yeah you know he he's eh, eh, nothing special but he can get out and do the job he's got crossing ability he's got a little bit of pace so he can fill in in case of an injury and an emergency uh you know if there's match fatigue he can step in and hopefully do the job for one or two games but we spent $91 million, so uh, that is really good. I wanted to go back. There were a couple of emails I wanted to show you guys. Let's see. Okay, well, this was one of them. So Man, Sit, Man United, of course, making the Coonpang deal. Didn't even hit the top of the charts. $268 million they spent. We brought in 16 players, the most active, uh, so that was good. Oh, and one of the guys that we got here, who was he? Let's see, squad. He was one of the younger players. Was it him? Yes, this El Amrani, the Dutch kid. He's actually a wonder kid. Don't get too many of those. 
So, yeah, I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. Uh, so, let's get to the matches today. All right, we are at home. We are underdogs. Good weather. I am going to go there. All right, so Fran Franashini up top, Olmo, Harris, Sinclair, Ingram in the middle, Strobel defensive mid, Walter's going to get his start on the left, Nyambi on the right, Coleman and Garcia uh, on in the center. And that means Coleman, where is Coleman? Is he injured? It was Coleman, yes. Coleman. Yellow. Oh, there's Col Coleman. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chikwuma on the bench. Brady. Craddock Perry. So we've got we've got a few guys that I would, are getting a little bit of a rest. Uh, I would like see Esteban. We're not playing the the attacking, so he's on the bench. I can actually he would be another striker. I could take him off. Declan Rice is hurt. Perez Low Taylor. Robinson is coming back from fitness. Bosdag, I don't need a striker. Let's bring uh let's bring him in. Uh Esteban. If I can find him now. Hoffman, there he is. All right, let's go with that. warm up so yeah i mean you know hopefully we can manage a top t top 10 finish this year i am recording this i have not seen the the episode last episode for the season end has not gone up yet but um so i haven't seen if anybody's been able to comment on the uh, finishing seventh and still qualifying for Europa League. So we'll see. I, I Again, I have a feeling, oh my God. I, I mentioned in last episode that it must have something to do with who won the, it looks like it has something to do with who won some of the cups or something like that. So we'll see. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Off the woodwork twice on one play. Oh, it only counted once, though. Keeper made a great save, then off the woodwork, then kicked out. Good defense, boys. Uh, let's check our tactics. Uh, standard. Yeah, we're good. Praise. All right, Walter throws it to somebody for Man City. You're a Belland. Oh, nice steal. Sinclair. Back to the keeper. Hoofed out. Ingram. Ingram's got some room into the attacking end. Oh, my God. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, that was... That was a clear-cut chance. He should have had it. That was an absolute sitter. Oh, man. Come on. All right. They're just, you know, they're playing a little pitch and catch here. All right. Up across midfield. Oh, there's a there's a through ball that we get. Coleman clears it out. Ingram again. All right. Ingram's going to bring it up into the attacking end again. 
Oh, there it is. Harris! Ederson with the save. Who's Harris? Morgan Harris. 22 years old. First touch. Yeah, he's not good at finishing. He is a... Uh, he's a Mazella. Okay. Ah. Uh. Brutal. He's playing a 6-6. Six, six. We've done pretty well. I mean, you know, we don't have we don't have possession. Alright, excellent efforts. Watch your step. And he's composed. Mm -hmm. Come on, boys. Oh, Sane. All right, Walter. Good job. Good job. Uh oh, set piece. Oh, Chelio Ricardo. Set piece header. Ah, that's just unlucky. Those close set pieces. Oh, and another one. Bitch. Oh, scooped up. Knocked over the attacker. Oh, there ain't no goal there if it's VAR. We know that. <sighs> All right. Um... I'm going to bring in Bobby Brady. Defensive right, center. Defensive left. I could move Strobel back there. Hmm. Mid left, that's for Olmo. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring in Hoffman. Oh, a little bit of deflection. All right, Franachini. Oh, too heavy on the touch. Ingram comes back and steals it. Nyambi. Brady. Oh, there's the hoof. Nyambi with the run. He gets there. The header. Disallowed. Oh, come on. No. There's a. No. There was a defender even with him when he played the ball. Oh, we got robbed. We flat out got robbed. Oh, shit. Push forward. Oh, we got jobbed on that one, fellas. All right, headed out. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, come on, Sane. Sane the bitch. Sane bitch. No, that's bullshit. Don't. No, they're just gutting us now. Uh... Damn it. No, we got we got FM'd here at the end, fellas. Granted, they're the better team, but this was not a 3-0 game. 
and that should be three to two. Hopton with the goal, first of the season. I'll take credit for that for tactics. Shit. No, come on. Blow the whistle. Yeah, we did not deserve a 3 nothing loss. I, I'm not happy with that. Um, I'm not going to not gonna hammer them. We will sell them that we're, we're unhappy, but yeah, there's there's nothing we could do there. Uh, Ola Coley. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, we were unbeaten, I guess, last season. But that's, uh, let's finish up the day. Uh, well, he's only been on the team for one match. Yeah, he'll be fine. He's played one match. All right, let's take a look at the schedule. All right, we're supposed to make... the quarterfinals <laughs> they want us to reach the quarterfinals of Europa League sure um, so we're not really going to pay a lot of attention I do want to do some Europa League just because we made it and it's the first time we made it but I kind of I kind of want to wait until we actually make into the qualifying rounds if nothing else. Uh, so I'm going to power through these. Let's get a handful of games under us. Um, we'll see who we draw in the third round. So we may come back here for, for uh, this match in Watford or Watford-West Ham. Or maybe we come back a little bit later, maybe into October. Uh, again, I, I want to try to get through these seasons. Uh, they are pretty long. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking maybe five or six episodes per season. So if we do say one, two, a third one right around mid season, fourth, fifth, and then at the end of the season, and then maybe any playoffs or anything that we might be in there. Just kind of thinking out loud. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, if you want to see more, then I can, you know, do fewer, fewer, you know, less playing in between episodes. Uh, you know, I just kind of want to get, you know, through so you guys can see more stuff. But uh, anyway, we'll pull the curtain on this episode. Hit that like button if you don't mind. Subscribe as well if you don't mind. Much appreciated. Welcome to a new season, and we will catch you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.